I would work at Avedon, I would finish at 9 p.m. I'd go home, have a slice of pizza because I was making like a dollar a week. And, uh, and then we'd go out to the clubs and uh, would shoot. My passion was music. L and L Scratch and Heavy D and Puff and you know like these were the things that enabled me to build relationships because people saw me over and over. Jay-Z, Reasonable Doubt, 1996, was my first ever album cover. I did volume one, volume two, this one for the blueprint, and sort of ending up a decade worth of work with him. From that, I got an opportunity to go down to Atlanta and see what the South was all about. Conceptually, I came up with the idea. I said, what does Stankonia mean to you? And Dre said, freedom. And I said, find me the biggest flag in all of Atlanta. This is Pentax 6-7. We used to have about like seven or eight of these like in rotation on any given shoot. I've paid so much money and like excess baggage for carting these things around. Now people would like travel with cards and rent things, including me. Like wherever I go, I just get a camera. I think one of the biggest gifts that, that I have had in my career that I actually really fought for um, was uh, this photo with uh, Leah. I was sort of the unconscious choice for like, you know, thugs and rappers and tricky situations or things that needed to be solved. Despite my working for Richard Avedon and like one of the greatest fashion photographers to ever do it. So I had to fight my way in for this and thank God I did. It ended up being her last photo shoot before she passed. When Jay-Z was beefing with Nas, I shot Godson and that album. You know, when DMX was beefing with Ja Rule, I did both of those albums. So it's sort of like, I don't know, I felt like, I guess, my contribution doesn't have to be politically sided. You know, you don't have to choose. You just have to make them look great and, and unique. This big, giant, massive workhorse, the Deardorff field camera, it's what uh, Avedon shot in the American West on. It's like all hollow on the inside. Film goes in this back, there's film bags. Let's slide down into here, you focus upside down. If I pull this out, you know you're pretty special, man, because it doesn't come out of the closet very often. Photographers, before digital photography came, like, yes, we had Polaroids to sort of give us an idea that we're in the right place. It sort of gave us a sense. But you still had to know that you had the shot, right? Because there was no, like, oh, well, just look. You're not editing on the fly. You had to hire somebody because you knew that they were going to get it. Now I find that the playing field has leveled significantly and especially all that you can do with, you know, sort of the digital art form and manipulating. But I still think it comes down to, like, the moments. Can you get the moments? Are they authentic? Do they feel like something? Do they evoke, you know, an emotion from the viewer? Those are all the things that are important in photography, period.